And Natasha Jog has experience spanning over a decade and a half in risk analysis, prog program and project management and public speaking. In her present role at Facebook, she has successfully managed several high-risk projects, elections, emerging markets, crisis events and regulation and policy among them. And she has worked on key policy issues, engaging with influencers, civil society groups and journalists amongst other. May I request you ma'am to please share your thoughts with the house. Thank you so much distinguished guests and everyone in the audience. Just a quick clarification, I may be many things but I'm no expert so please don't take me as one of them but I do want to start by saying uh, thank you to Saho and, and I echo what uh, Professor said that really was a very passionate talk by you uh, Mr. Jaina, thank you for that. Um, India's embrace of digital technologies has been extraordinary, really, to say the least. And this has opened new pathways, as we know, to opportunities, to knowledge, to information. And it is said, and not lightly at all, that this is really India's decade, or as the Prime Minister likes to say, India's decade. We're already the fifth largest economy, and as you may have seen in this year of India's G20 presidency, there's been a lot of focus on digital transformation and the progress that we have made so far. Uh, we at Meta, of course, have been also trying uh, to showcase some of our work in this year as well. We've tied up with uh, several departments. I won't go into too many details, but one key focus of ours has been skilling and looking at what the future of work and what the future of jobs looks like. And that's where making big bets and doing a lot of work here along with our work on education as well. Uh, now, AI has been a critical part of how we have approached our work at Meta for over a decade. AI, in fact, has powered, uh, if you are all familiar with the Facebook news feed, AI powers that news feed is, is what goes that, keeps that news feed going. And you've also heard with AI, we're also talking about the metaverse, which is really the next evolution of the internet as we see it. And it's the sense of presence, really, that sets the metaverse apart, right? It spans a range of technologies, including virtual reality, which are headsets that can transport you to entirely new environments, augmented reality glasses, and of course, mixed reality as well. These are experiences that blend physical and virtual environments. As we just heard the professor say, and I, I could agree more, for, for most of us, in fact, I, 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 want to, I want to take forward by saying, I, I think for all of us, Learning is very social, right? We, we, we learn in social environments. We learn from not just our experiences, from, from our other experiences. It's all about interaction and uh, discussions as much as it is about books and papers and, and, and lessons and what have you. And academic studies have actually found that VR can positively improve knowledge retention, comprehension, student engagement, motivation, and even attention span. And I think that that's something that, at least for me, I understand intuitively. It is so much easier to remember doing something than being told how to do it, perhaps. And that's what makes the possibilities for learning in the metaverse just so exciting.